Polaris is a name for the North Star, and for millennia, it has been a guide for explorers and navigators to find their way, and we'd like Polaris to be a guiding light for moving forward into digital engineering. Polaris is our attempt at taking a new digital transformation techniques as well as new assembly methodologies like full-size hull determinative assembly and producing the article that you see behind me. So our star drive builds are intentionally waterfalled a little bit. Charlie was our first article out of the gate and that really allowed us to test out some of the digital thread capabilities, of course prove out determinate assembly. And so Polaris not only scales up in complexity and size and gets some additional requirements, but it also takes all the lessons learned from Charlie and to deliver an even better product on Polaris. Polaris needed a real structure to demonstrate. We didn't want to make just a simple manufacturing demonstration article that wasn't relevant in complexity or scale. X59 had a wing and fuselage section that we were able to leverage the original design, modify that design for our advanced manufacturing techniques. The main difference is being we use the FSDA approach, or full size determinant assembly. That means the holes are coming in pre-drilled, which saves a lot of time. We also use this new digital thread tool set, meaning everybody is working in the same digital environment. So Polaris demonstrates future technologies based upon the cornerstone of, of the 3D experience suite. So some of the things we do are augmented reality for the mechanics. In this case, we were able to put in at a production level. Our mechanics used it for fastener installation. It allows the mechanics to use it, but look at it and manipulate it prior to the article actually being built. So they can go you know, practice, by the time the first article is built, they have done that thing a hundred times. Another piece of that is, is some of the advanced metrology we're using as well. Uh, scanning parts as they get loaded into the fixture, doing a digital fit check. One of the big advantages of taking a subsection of a build we're already doing is that we can compare the information one to one and get very direct comparisons. And that's what really drives a lot of the metrics that we're pulling out of this that will help a lot of the other programs adopt a lot of the new technologies and processes we're implementing here. As we decided strategic partnership was an important part of our project, we actually split it into two segments, a Lockheed and a Spirit segment. The section that has an olivey green primer, that's the portion that Spirit built, and the section that Lockheed built is the tealy green primer. The Spirit was brought in for Project Polaris to really demonstrate the integration of a supplier into the Lockheed integrated digital environment. And the reason that's important is on larger programs like this, you're obviously going to bring in partners. And so having a large, uh, significant supplier integrated into your environment allows your team's instant collaboration. And it really prevents a lot of the bottlenecks and surprises that come up along the way. We encourage everybody here on site to come check it out if they have the chance, and hopefully what we've accomplished here can help not only us at Skunk Works, but across all the sites.